The RUTC News English and Japanese broadcasts began last week. The Watchman Prayer Meeting will begin October 7th. The partisan movement which blocks the disaster of crumbling churches enjoying what Jesus has taught, waiting and challenging. Last week's Saturday Core was a live broadcast service from Osaka Emmanuel Church in Japan as Remnant Day. Also, the 14th Remnant partisan, Remnant Lee Ha Min, was mobilized as the cultural missionary who evangelized the 237 nations through media content. Hello, and welcome to the RUTC News. The English and Japanese RUTC News began last week. The RUTC News began producing English and Japanese versions for native disciples overseas to confirm answers and receive guidance together in the stream of the evangelism movement. They are uploaded to each language channel on WEEA and YouTube and can be viewed before the core service. The Watchman Prayer Meeting, which raises the Bardison of Light toward the 237 and 5000, begins October 7th. The Watchman Prayer Meeting, which unites all Darakbang members in oneness by following the stream of the word in the Bardison journey and guidepost all evangelists must take a hold of, begins October 7th. The Watchman Prayer Meeting, open to multi-ethnic disciples of the 237 nations, takes place online every night at 10 p.m., excluding Fridays. The link to enter the online prayer meeting is on the WEEA website. The partisan movement which blocks the disaster of crumbling churches enjoying what Jesus has taught, waiting and challenging, last week's Saturday Core was a live broadcast service from Osaka Emmanuel Church in Japan as Remnant Day. Also, the 14th Remnant partisan, Remnant Li Ha Min, was mobilized as the cultural missionary who evangelized the 237 nations through media content. Last week's Saturday Core was a live broadcast service from Osaka Emmanuel Church. Remnants from Osaka presided over the core service, prayer and praise. Before the worship with the title 300% Preparation, Reverend Yu proclaimed to the Osaka pastors and pastors' wives to make preparations in advance to receive the perfect guidance of the Holy Spirit. He relayed that they must heal the disciples, the infirm, and multi-ethnics by making the gathering platform, healing watchtower, and communication antenna with the answer of the seven partisans, seven journeys, and seven guideposts. In other meetings with regional ministers and remnant 24-hour prayer teams preparing the three-day weekend age, he relayed that not in 24 hours of concern, but in prayer 24, you must be able to see the kingdom of God. Also, the 14th remnant partisan, remnant Li Ha Min, the cultural missionary to evangelize the 237 nations with media content, was mobilized as the absolute partisan to restore the gospel culture on the YouTube Shorts platform. Today's Saturday core is the World Military Missions Conference. This year's World Chinese Speakers Retreat, which gathers the scattered evangelism disciples of the Chinese-speaking fields, open with the theme, Chinese speakers can only be saved through the method of Jesus Christ. Reverend Yu Guangsu in Lecture 1 titled Missions to Block the History of Disasters, Main Figures of History to Save the Past, proclaimed that we must stand as disciples who enjoy the answer of healing the past, that we must begin with holding to what Jesus taught in knowing what to throw away, establish, and challenge. Also in Lecture 2, with the title Main Figure to Save the Future, to block this confusion and disaster brought by the Age of Nephilim, we must stand as main figures of the Age of Holy Meditation, the Age of 300%, and the Age of Church Growth that saves the posterity. For this, we must make the 24-hour prayer teams. The 2024 World RTS Conference will take place on October 24th at the Dukpyeong RUTC, gathering the spiritual leaders who will restore the gospel and lead the evangelism movement. This year's conference opens with the theme, The Least Will Become a Thousand, The Smallest a Mighty Nation. Open to RTS students, graduates, alumni pastors, and overseas students, and students of the Evangelism Theological Seminary, only mentioned participants can attend. 
Registrations are open until October 18th at WEEA. The 2024 fall semester RU doctoral course will start October 15th for two days at the Dukpyeong RUTC. Professor Yu Gang Su will give three evangelism theology lectures lecture 1 at 11 a.m., lecture 2 at 2.30 p.m., and lecture 3 at 10.30 a.m. the next morning. Pre registrations are open until October 11th, and detailed info is available at WEEA. The Japan Evangelism Conference, which gathers the evangelism disciples who will raise the absolute spiritual partisan in Japan with the theme, Watchmen of Japan Who Will Save the World, will take place on October 8th for two days. Pre-ordered evangelism materials will be available for pickup. The October European Business Persons Conference and Evangelism Conference have finished registrations. Same-day registrations are open but room and board will not be available. This week's offering news. Disciples across the nation and the world continue to send their heartfelt offerings to the 237 Center and RUTC this week. This week's announcements. The 21st Remnant Conference in America will take place on November 27th for three days. Registrations will be open until October 6th Pacific Standard Time. The first 2024 Asia Business Persons Conference will take place on November 12th for two days at Bali, Indonesia. Detailed info will be announced later. The 7th Southeast Asia Evangelism Conference and 22nd Philippines Remnant Conference will take place in December at the Widas Hotel in Clark, Philippines. Detailed info will be announced later. In the power of the Lord, may you completely get rid of the disasters of the past and become the main figures of blocking the disasters of the future. This concludes the news. Thank you.